Hello and welcome to the AS Anthropology. We are doing paper 1, chapter 6, that is Anthropological Theory. We have completed Classical Evolutionism, Historical Particularism, Structuralism, Functionalism, Structural Functionalism, Diffusionism, its three school, that is American, Austro-German and British. And now we are doing New Evolutionism, where we have discussed the New Evolutionism, the contribution of Gordon Child, Leslie White, Julian Stewart, and Service, Elman Service. This is the last topic that is Marshall Sahlin and his contribution in New Evolutionism. So Marshall Sahlin, his contribution is primarily in the field of tribal reciprocity. Now you'll ask me what is reciprocity. This, uh, when we'll do political organization in paper one, we'll deal with a topic called as reciprocity. It means that there are basically three types of uh, reciprocity, positive, negative, and neutral. But that is, uh, we'll reserve this topic of reciprocity because it is important for 10 marker. S simply you have to understand that if I'm giving you something, I'm expecting something b back from you. That is uh, not reciprocity. Okay, that is uh, that we'll call it as without ex if I'm not expecting anything that will be positive reciprocity. Okay, if I'm expecting something from you and then I'm giving you something that will come under ne uh, negative reciprocity. So his basically contribution is in the field of tribal reciprocity. He examined the idea of reciprocity as a mechanism to f uh, facilitate exchange of resource. To facilitate exchange of resource. The access to resource is determined by different types of reciprocity existing at different level of social structure. So he gives three types of reciprocity. First is general reciprocity which is for family for example when your father gives you money he does not expect anything from you that is general second is balanced it is between community uh, being a child you go to your friend's birthday party hoping that he'll come back to your birthday party with gifts. So that comes under balance reciprocity. Third is negative. Negative it is outside. Someone is from outsider. Okay, so that comes under negative response uh, reciprocity. The general reciprocity takes place with the family, balance with the community and negative with the outsider. The generalized reciprocity talks about delayed exchange. Okay. The generalized reciprocity talks about delayed exchange. The balanced reciprocity talks about immediate and negative basically talks about robbery or it tugs okay so for example father or parents take care of their child uh, earlier there was an expectation that child would take care of their parents and they'll get old so that comes basically under general reciprocity and the time frame is not specified it's delayed but as we talked about birthday if we are giving someone we want something back so that comes under immediate exchange and if there is a robbery so that will come under negative reciprocity so according to marshall salin these mechanisms are for enhancing the uh, occasion to basically resource and reciprocity and it is the only uh, way or access to resource the societies evolve to resource the societies evolve that he talks about the various types of socio-economic adaptation he talks about socio-economic adaptation 
he talks about socio-economic adaptation for example he gave uh, this the stages of uh, food production basically the mechanism of food production how it in involves according to cultural evolution okay so first is he comes with hunting or foraging hunting gathering or foraging second from that fishing community third led to pastoral community shifting cultivation horticulture settled agriculture artisans industrial labor when people were basically they started living that starting it from hunting and gathering then people of the coastal or riverine topography they started fishing when there were people who had basically time and uh, away from uh, different occupation pastoralism when after doing this people became free like some people if there is a family of three okay so there is a one thing is uh, for sure that this one can take care of two so now what these two will do okay so now this two will choose some other professions hence shifting culture when that become e enough to su uh, sustain horticulture when that become enough to sustain led to settle agriculture when some people had time artisan even more people had time industrial labor each one of them used different mechanism and different types of reciprocity to have access to resource according to sahlin this marks an evolutionary sequence societies evolve through these three stages of socio economic development technology is also built into this system he wrote a book he wrote a book use and abuse of use and abuse of biology in the year 1979 in this book he argued that stages of socio economic adaptation do not reflect only the use of technology it reflect the use of biology as well as culture he argues that biological and cultural factors are deeply connected to some of the biological factors and cultural factors significantly affect the process of adaptation at various stages he give examples of first aggression and war aggression and war second sexuality and cross cousin marriage third aggression is biological instinct okay aggression is essentially is understood at the level of individual but war is always at the level of society war is never sudden but aggression is always sudden war is planned executed in a culturally appropriate manner the phenomena of aggression and war is rooted in social bio uh, social biography and the second that is sexuality or cross cousin marriage is regulated by the fundamental principles of incest taboo or first cultural rule in cross cousin marriage the mother mother uh, and brothers daughter okay so they allow marriage within large kinship group while the incest taboo prohibits the sexual relationship between family the third is cross cousin marriage allows the sexual relationship within the large kin member these two phenomena are intricately connected now to conclude sahlin it is important that 
the adaptation to environment both natural as well as social is possible not only through technology but also through material culture okay but uh, by doing so he is developing a comprehensive approach to study of cultural evolution where biological sociological cultural and technological uh, aspects they find a concrete manifestation all the thinkers of new evolutionism share a renewed interest in idea of evolutionism all of them used scientific categories or logical categories to explain different stages of evolution and their theories are more rigorous than the classical evolutionist so now when we have discussed each one of them okay we have discussed what new evolutionism is the contribution of vijay child or uh, pardon me gordon child leslie white julian stewart sahlin and services we can say that these new evolutionists are different from classical evolutionist in methodology and their methods of using or how they have looked at the discipline more scientifically they have done more work they have worked hard basically and as the classical evolutionist were basically the armchair anthropologist now the tag is definitely removed when it comes to new new evolutionist so we have completed uh, this topic in the next video we will meet with cultural personality school so thank you and good day